Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Prophecy Box Breaks for yet another Team Break Treasure Hunt. Today, Season 4, Episode 30, 2023 Panini Elite Extra Edition Double Hobby Team Break Treasure Hunt. We're looking at 25 cards per box, 8, memorabil excuse me, eight autographs, and 2 memorabilia cards per box. Team Break Treasure Hunt style. Teams have been divided up among the masses. They have been absolutely waiting. We sold out on this bad boy uh, either yesterday or the day before yesterday, and we are ready to rock and roll. So, guess what? Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Doesn't want to be opened. There must be something awesome inside. Wrong side. Look for hobby exclusive one of one black die cut parallels. Nope, that's not it. There it is. All right. So you can definitely tell that you got two mem revealia cards right there. We're going to open the other three packs first, leave the mems for last. Let's go. Good luck, everybody. Right off the bat, we have a Spellbound Dylan Cruz for Washington. Tampa Bay, Braden Taylor with the Status Parallel. It's got to be a parallel. Let's take a look here. Numbered. Status parallel is numbered 86 of 499. That's 086 of 499. Pull for Tampa Bay. Behind him, our first autograph is Hunter Haas. Oh, man. Die cut. Oh. I was I was hoping that I mean it's 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 kind of black. <laughs> this is a die cut numbered two thirty nine of three ninety nine. Auto for Tampa Bay for today's break. Tampa Bay is held by Mister Kevin H. Congratulations on your find there, Kevin. We're gonna sleeve. Our numbered hit and our autograph hit up here. However, we do have a second autograph in this pack. As you can see right there, that is for Pittsburgh, Hunter Barco with the Impact Impressions insert. That is a not numbered auto. Non-numbered auto. Uh, we'll put our non-numbered auto up here. We have our numbered hit. Status insert here. We have Drew Hackenberg out of Atlanta as our last card of our first pack. So two non-numbered, one numbered, one numbered auto, one non-numbered auto. That's a pretty sweet first pack, especially considering it was the thinnest pack of the bunch. So that's cool. Pack number two with the Future Stars status. That is Jacob Wilson of the Oakland Athletics. Not numbered. Here you have a Kevin McGonigal blue aspirations parallel. That is numbered 188 of 349. We have autograph Cole Kerrig, Colorado, with the prime numbers insert or parallel. That is numbered 135 of 200. Auto for Colorado and 
Behind him is Franklin Vargas. Now, this is our first on-card autograph, and that is for the Dominican Prospect League. As mentioned in the break listing, Dominican Prospect League autographs and hits and cards will be distributed using the randomizer. That is the DPL signatures, as you can see. And that is not numbered. And we have a Dominican Prospect League Edison Charles Elite Extra Edition Base. So Vargas will be one that will go into our randomizer. Uh, number to 200 here. We'll put him here. Tell you what, let's actually do this. Just a little bit of a display action going on here. Pack number three. Let's open that up. Hey, hey, Sothor. Thanks so much for making it. Thanks so much for everybody else who's here. I see we got our view count up there just a little bit. Thanks so much. Appreciate your time, everybody. We are going to have a real quick break today. We have a spellbound Rhett Loader for Cincinnati. Out of Detroit, Max Anderson with the teal, maybe a green, I'd say I'd say teal status parallel. That status parallel is numbered 419 of 499. Number two, 499 pull for Detroit. Autograph time is a die cut, Adrian Santana. That is another autograph for Tampa Bay. Mr. Santana, number 141 of 399 and has quite possibly the best autograph so far. Maybe Hunter Haas, but I like this one the most. Behind him, we have Drake Baldwin with the Hidden Gems parallel, or insert, excuse me. I'm just getting them all kind of confused, although the blue could definitely be a parallel. The Hidden Gems auto is not numbered. That's unfortunate. That's beautiful. Uh, that is a fine for Atlanta. And last card in the pack is Ty Floyd, Cincinnati. And the last card and the first card have not been numbered for these packs. So that is unfortunate that that's a non-numbered autograph. That Hidden Gems is gorgeous. Two die cut numbered autographs. A numbered parallel in each pack. All right, so these are going to be our relics. Uh, we've guaranteed eight autos. One, two, three. We have six, so both of our relics should be autographed. So we're going to start with higher learning. Luke Keshaw out of the Arizona State University. Remember, hits uh, that uh, uh, don't have a team on them. We'll look them up and see where they signed. St. Louis, Travis Honeyman with the blue aspirations parallel. Out of Boston College. That is numbered 276 of 349. Our relic. Oh, I'm sorry. Not a relic. Not a relic, but an auto in front of our relic. Another hit for Detroit. That is Jaden Ham. Looks like the base auto, and it is. Your relic is, oh man, look at that four-color relic. Future Threads, numbered 8 of 10 out of Seattle, Ty Pete. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous, and numbered 8 of 10. Pull for Seattle. Seattle is held by Mr. Steve Lakin. Numbered 8 of 10, my man. Congratulations on that find.
That is gorgeous. Relic number 8 of 10. Sammy Stafura bringing in the base action. That's actually, you know what, that's our lowest numbered hit so far. And last pack from box number one. Future star status, Dylan Cruz. Oh, Dylan Cruz. We have not seen this yet. First card of the pack was numbered. I'm glad I've been checking, but now it makes me want to double check. Dylan Cruz is numbered 141 of 199. We're going to double check real quick. I want to make sure that I did not miss numbering on the middle. Because none, none of them have had a first card numbered yet. So Dylan Cruz is our first future star status. It's our second future star status, but our first numbered. Behind him, we have a green status parallel. Braylon Morell, Texas. That is numbered 453 of 499. Auto Impact Impressions for Robbie Snelling out of San Diego. And that is my new favorite autograph from this set so far. Love when a guy can actually sign his name. That autograph is not numbered. And unsurprisingly, your next relic is a little bit... Underwhelming compared to our uh, 8 of 10. This is Future Threads, Aiden Miller, representing Philadelphia. And we have a Philip Abner out of Arizona bringing the base. Oops. So we ended up with six numbered parallel, six, uh, seven, eight autographs. Three of those autographs were numbered. Three, four, five, yeah, six, seven, and eight. Okay, just wanted to make sure that we did, in fact, get everything. And a neat little stack of base. Hobby number two. What's up, Femarov? How are you doing, buddy? Thanks so much for stopping by. You are just in time for hobby box number two. We pulled ourselves an eight of ten relic. We're going to see if we can't beat that in hobby box number two. Look at that. All these packs look thick. And the last one, we had two thick packs and a bunch of thin ones. These all look like they're capable of having a relic inside them. Good luck, everybody. We have Spellbound, Paul Skeens. Lighting, Major League Baseball on Storm. Starting in the All-Star Game as a rookie for the first time since the early 2000s, if I remember right. Whoop, 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 whoop. Almost hit the floor there. Got to be careful. Not numbered. We have this beautiful Boston Prime Numbers die cut of Kyle Teal. Numbered 017 of 200. Drafted in the first round in 2023. Very nice. First round pick. Well, that's right. I was leaving these until after. Sorry. Well, I got them in there. We're going to finish it off here. The die cuts are a little difficult with the sleeves because of the top of the T. You really got to be careful. 
There we go. Really, really, really got to be careful. Autograph, San Francisco, Luke Schleiger. Prime numbers, parallel numbered 34 of 60. That is our lowest numbered pull yet. Very nice. Behind him, hidden gems. That's our second, or I believe that's just our second hidden gems. That is Matthew Wood. Not numbered. Find for Milwaukee. And we have Dylan Cruz. Making his second appearance of the break, this time in base fashion. No kittens on the break table. We got a kitten on the break table. We got to... Uh, Take a second here and, and just protect everything. Just a moment. Let me put these up. Come on. No kittens on the break table. Sorry, honey. Go find something to do. We got just four packs remaining. Any and all of these could have uh, relics in them. This one already looks like it does. Higher learning insert for Grant Taylor out of Louisiana State University. Numbered 116 of 199. Call that a purple parallel. With your prime numbers parallel, Alex Clemmy. Numbered 145 of 200. Autograph. Justin Campbell out of Cleveland, rocking the Impact Impressions. That autograph is not numbered. Coming up next. Bam! Look at that gorgeous patch auto. Rocking the EO right off the front of his jersey. Hector Perez out of the Dominican Republic League. So that is two finds that we'll be randomizing out to the league, or to the uh, to the break group. This one, an auto relic. Oh, it's not EO, it's EC, prospect. It's prospect out of prospect league. That's awesome. Oh, I apologize. It's right there. I had just about had my thumb over it. Numbered 15 of 149, so even better. Patch auto numbered to 149. And for Philadelphia, Aiden Miller bringing the base action. Number two, 149, Patch Auto. Very nice. We'll put this right here. Right here. Move him in just a little bit. Three packs to go. We're going to start off with another Spellbound. This one is Enrique Bradford Jr. out of Baltimore. These die cut really stick. Not numbered. We have Chase Dolander, pitcher, Colorado. Kitten on the table, sorry. That is numbered 295 of 499. Status parallel. Green status parallel. We have a die cut. Zach Thornton, aspirations parallel out of out of New York, numbered seven. Excuse me, fifty four of seventy nine. Seventy nine might be our lowest numbered auto yet. Base relic here. Twenty twenty three pick number thirty two out of New York. Colin Huck. 
Oh dear. That card is destroyed. Look at that. Absolutely destroyed. We'll have to submit for a replacement on that one. Um, I'll put that one off to the side here once we're done breaking. I will submit for a replacement for you. Tampa Bay's Hunter Haas. Unless, of course, you want to submit for it yourself, then by all means, let me know. Two packs to go. Two packs to go starts with Higher Learning. That's Grant Taylor. I believe that's the exact same card we pulled earlier. That was a parallel. This one is not numbered. Jake Geloff, Los Angeles. Blue Aspirations Parallel. That is numbered 144 of 349. Hidden Gems, autograph number three. This one is Anthony Hall. New York. We have an extra relic. This one, pick number 10, Noble Meyer for Miami. Not numbered, not damaged. And Jeffrey Yemenez out of the Dominican Prospect League. Last pack magic. Your last pack starts with Jacob Gonzalez out of Chicago with the spellbound. He is not numbered. Out of Kansas City, Carson Rocaforte with the green status parallel. Numbered 081 of 499. Next autograph, Garrett Forrester out of Pittsburgh with the prime numbers parallel. This one is numbered 167 of 200. So while we're only guaranteed two relics in each box, our sixth relic of the day is an auto relic Andrefer Vizcaino, number one six, excuse me, zero one six of one ninety nine, and that is a hit for the Dominican League. So that will be a randomizer. So that brings us up to three randomized hits. And Jacob Bloss, Houston. Last pack. Once we protect our treasure here. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the last pack. <laughs> I thought we had one more to go. All right, everybody, that, that did bring us uh, down to our last pack and down to the end of today's break. I could have swore we had one more pack to open. Uh, I still think, even though it's not an autograph, the prettiest hit of the day definitely goes to our four-color patch, number eight of 10, Ty Pete out of Seattle. We have a beautiful Hector Perez. And quite a few awesome autographs. Uh, one relic that we'll have to go ahead and have repaired. Randomizers are going to go ahead. We'll, we'll have those uh, take place and we'll post those to the break group. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment uh, or contact me directly. Thanks, everybody, so much for being part of the Prophecy Box Break family. Definitely appreciate those of you who are able to make it to the break. And all of you checking this video out down the road definitely helps us. Do me a favor, whack that button. Let me know which one of these pieces of treasure you like the most. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at the next Prophecy Box Breaks Team Break Treasure Hunt.